When it comes to video editing softwares like the Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, Filmora, etc. It requires good processor and good graphic card along with sufficient amount of RAM. This video is exactly about that. I already posted 8GB vs 16GB RAM test and 8GB vs 24GB of RAM test in Premiere Pro. If you want any specific video, links are in description box. This video I share exactly how much RAM is needed for your type of workflow. Also I will share how to edit 4K or 8K videos with just 8GB of RAM in your laptop at the end of the video. So, so stay connected and let's get started. I categorized these into three types of users. One for beginners like the newbies who are new to the Adobe Premiere Pro softwares. And number two is for medium workflow users. And number three is for advanced workflow users. One by one I'll tell, let's start. For this kind of users, it's very easy. You need just 8 GB of RAM to kickstart the Adobe Premiere Pro. Also note that the graphic card, the processor, the type of drive, I mean SSD or HDD you are using also matters when it comes to the faster speeds. If you believe it or not, even I also started the Adobe Premiere Pro with just 8 GB of RAM in my laptop and I used it for like more than one year. I'm okay with the workflow. With this 8 GB, you can add basic graphics, basic templates, basic motion graphics also and even you can edit the 4K videos also. So for beginning 8GB RAM is more than sufficient. For this kind of users, minimum to minimum 16GB RAM is required. Sometimes it does not sufficient also for smooth workflow. In terms of heating, there is a lot and lot of heat is generated from your laptop during this workflow process and make sure that you given some good ventilation for your laptop to dissipate the heat easily. When it comes to the ventilation, I posted a review on laptop stand. Here is the link. Sorry, here is the link. You can watch that. Again, for this workflow, you can easily edit 4K videos also. But if you add any effects from Adobe After Effects or any motion graphic template, it struggle little. So so like more than 16 GB RAM is needed on the time. 16 GB RAM is a kickstart for medium workflow. I think most of the advanced users won't see this because they already gathered some information about how much RAM is needed based on the workflow. Just for your reference, I'm sharing 32 GB of RAM is required for this advanced workflow. In advanced workflow, there are many layers, many audio files, many templates, many motion graphics, etc, 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 which requires a lot and lot of time to render. I see 99% of the pro video editors or advanced video editors uses a custom built PC for better cooling good speeds and fast video rendering time so 32 gb ram is kickstart for advanced workflow that's the video guys if you're having any questions related to this feel free to ask also i told during the start of the video that how to edit 8k or 4k videos with just 8 gb of ram in your laptop here is the answer for that you need one additional software to edit 8k or 4k videos it's media encoder from adobe yes you had it right media encoder from adobe software basically the media encoder helps to create lower quality proxy files that helps to edit smoothly maybe maybe you are having one doubt that then why 16 or 32 gb ram is needed if media encoder is available here is the answer for that too and also that's a good question if it arrives in your mind the one word answer for this question is the video rendering time if you keep on adding layers and layers of video files or templates or graphics the video overall video rendering time i mean the final output of the video would takes like hours and hours of time if you're having bad processor bad graphics and low ram in your laptop or pc so better you decide based on your workflow how much ram is required for you that's the answer for the question guys and that's the end of the video also i hope you are happy with this if yes a like from you is really appreciate me and subscribe to tech bunny if you are interested in tech videos here is a complete playlist of different sections if you are interested you can watch now thanks for staying up to now myself roshikar and you're watching tech bunny and i'll see you in the next one take care